Hello, in this video what I'd like to cover is using direct access to navigate directly to a folder worth of files in WorldOx. So I'm going to start out by in an empty file list here and I'm going to click on direct access. It'll pop up my direct access dialog and it'll default to a cabinet for you. Now if this is not the cabinet that you want to direct access to, you'd hit the drop down and select the other cabinet. In this case I do want to go to client files. And because this cabinet is organized with the documents stored in a matter folder in a client matter structure, I'll need to provide a client number and a matter number in order to get to that folder. So I can do that through a number of ways. One, if I know what the client matter codes are, I can just type them in. The drop downs will give me a historical listing of codes that I've recently used. If I need to get to the entire field table, I can click on the name, such as click on client. That'll launch the table. You can all and you can type ahead in here and find it or do a find if you don't know what the code is and search based on the description. Gain access to that. You'll also have off to the left your favorite matters table. So if you want to navigate direct access to a particular matter you've worked on recently, you should see it in your favorite matters and you just double click on it in here and that'll populate the client matter code for you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select it from the drop downs and so I'll choose the client code and the matter code and then I'll click OK. Now this is different than doing a search because it's not searching our databases, it's actually just taking you directly to the subfolder where these matter documents reside on the network. Now once you're in the matter folder, you don't have to do a search to narrow it down, you can use your filter tab below. So if let's say you just wanted to see a certain um, type of document, I just want to see the Word documents. I could click on the docx as, as the extension type and that would filter out all the PDFs and Excel spreadsheets and PowerPoint slideshows and emails and anything else that you had in that folder and just display the Word documents. If let's say you wanted to filter it based on a doc type code, you could narrow that down. Uh, if you just want to narrow it down by a author code and you can combine these filters. So if I want to see author in this particular doc type code I can filter it down even more. So these filters are very helpful when you go to a matter folder where you have hundreds or thousands of documents in a single folder and you want to narrow that scope down to just a certain amount of files. That uh, combined with your sorting ability on let's say the date modified column then you can get a really good picture of what you're looking for without having to do a search and just direct accessing right to that particular matter folder and using the filters to narrow it down. Now direct access will behave one of two ways depending on where you start from. When I started in this video I was at an empty file list so it, it brought up direct access empty and I needed to populate it with a client code and a matter code. But I'm going to switch over to another list where I have my favorite files listed and I have a file that's already highlighted in here. And let's say I wanted to navigate to the matter folder for where this file is because I want to see all the other documents for this particular matter. With this file highlighted, if I now click direct access, it'll automatically populate the client matter code based on this highlighted file. And now when I click OK, it's going to take me directly to that particular matter folder and show me all the documents for that matter. So it's real easy to use, it doesn't do a search of the databases, it just navigates you right to the folder. Once you're there then you can use the bottom filters to filter the list down and see exactly what you're looking for. So a real helpful way to navigate within WorldOx and get you to a matter's worth of files quickly. Uh, this concludes what I wanted to cover.